Hello, my name is Yubin Kim and I live in Indonesia. I'm studying in grade 11 at Bandung Alliance Intercultural School. Being a part of the drama international education competition is wonderful. Because of COVID-19 for past three years, we lost our free and enjoyable lifestyles. I have a question for you right now. What effects has COVID-19 had on our social lives? When I originally heard this question, my first impression was that COVID-19 appeared to be moving toward a situation where its effects on individuals would outweigh their effects on society. Finally, those of us cut off from society think more about our own impact. But are you guys aware of how much is fascinating about COVID-19's societal effects on us? I'm going to start telling you about the social impacts COVID-19 that we haven't observed since we've been too busy with our regular activities. As you're well aware, COVID-19 has pushed people's physical proximity apart. For us, this has a significant three factors society impacts. This is broken down into internet consumption, non-face-to-face -face culture, and remote jobs or education. First, more individuals start working from home and attending school and daily use of video conferencing apps has skyrocketed. Both of the number of school offering online courses and the infection rate of students attending school haven't increased. I also attended online classes as a student. Of course, there are instances when students might enjoy the moment, like staying up late or paying little attention in class, but it also led to regrettable outcomes like a learning gaps between students and a lack of social skills. Consumption patterns have also drastically changed as a result of a change in lifestyles. As we go out less frequently, offline spending declines while internet consumption rises. Since internet consumption is simpler and more convenient than offline consumption, I myself utilize it frequently. However, I believe that the old people might face digital estrangement as a result of the development of an online-oriented system. Additionally, when home waste from internet consumption increased, the ecology suffered as a result. Every culture and pleasure people used to share started to be enjoying a lot at home, which led to which led to the development of seclusionist culture there. The ability to experience all types of entertainment at home has inspired the development of the subscription economy. Everyone enjoys watching Netflix in the convenience of their own homes, right? While it is simple to handle every aspect of our lives at home without really meeting anyone, I believe that getting out and meeting people is healthy and meaningful. We are now em emancipated from COVID-19. What if you begin to alter your life as well? Thank you for listening to my speech. Bye.